I've been researching the refugee crisis uh, since 2013, uh, even before. I mean, my work on refugees go back to about 15 years. Uh, but in particular, the situation in the Mediterranean is something I've been following since uh, the, the tragedy in Lampedusa in October 2013, when over 300 uh, people died just a few miles away from the coast of Lampedusa, which is a little island uh, that belongs to, to Italy. Uh, my family come from, uh, um, from a place just there, very close to Sicily, to a place called Pozzal, which is a port where most of the boats with migrants arrive nowadays. And when I was doing research on the refugee crisis just a couple of years ago, I went back there after many, many years. And, and it was a very interesting, uh, strange experience to the place where my family originally came from. And uh, my grandparents had to live there uh, during the Second World War. They were forcibly displaced to the north of Italy, to, uh, to, actually to, Na to Naples in particular. And you can see a lot of solidarity, in particular in Sicily, despite the fact of the poverty, the unemployment and the challenges. Uh, the issue is though that uh, uh, people are willing to help, they won't allow someone to drown at sea. But what happens next, once you have thousands of people that arrive in the country, which is already poor to many extent, is a different issue, it's an issue that requires long-term planning. And we need to see more governments, both European and Italians, to do more in terms to uh, allow this solidarity which comes from uh, wanting to help someone who is in difficulty, to, to, to move to the next stage, which is to promote opportunities for self to done, for the new people not to be a burden to already uh, poor societies, uh, to enable them to contribute, which is what most people wanted to do anyway.